It's one o'clock in the afternoon. August 17th. Doesn't matter that you're looking through my windshield because it doesn't look any better outside. This is what um, the incredible wildfires burning in Northern California are doing to Northern Nevada. This is what our summer has been like for about six or seven weeks now. It looks like those post-apocalyptic movies, you know, <laughs> or abandoned space outposts. <laughs> Let people go to try and figure out what happened. Well, what happened is people didn't manage their natural resources well. They didn't manage their timberland. They didn't manage their water supplies because we're also in the second year of drought, which is partially why all those wildfires have happened. So normally this view, you see some industrial buildings on the outskirts of Carson City, a few of the low sagebrush hills with uh, some, you know, high desert growth on them, and then the big beautiful Sierra Nevada mountains, kind of blue purple, and a big blue sky, either cloudless or with like, you know, picture book clouds. This time of year there might be some thunderheads because it's so hot. By the way, it's 102 degrees today in, in this kind of environment. And I have shown you this little vista as well. But look, this is normally a golf course in the distance and this is where wild horses come in this area to get a drink and again you can barely see the first ridge and beyond that you should be able to see big blue sierra nevada mountains and blue sky and you can't <sighs> and everybody's voices sounds exactly like mine we're all sore throats and all kinds of congestion and sneezing and coughing and oh god this stuff I'm blowing out of my nose and there's a lot of it is the color of smoke I have a respiratory condition it's been hard for me to do anything there are people that are a lot sicker than me but I mean even for the healthiest of us uh, nobody's healthy right now. A lot of plants are dying, a lot of trees are dying, a lot of animals are dying. The sunlight doesn't penetrate. So if I seem more depressed <laughs> than normal this summer, there's a lot of reasons, but this is part of it. And breathing is painful. And you're used to being able to escape to places that are beautiful. And just be with nature and enjoy it. You get away from all the mess. That humans cause other humans. And this is all there is. I know this, uh, a lot of the rest of the United States is getting this too. And you know. So you know a little bit how it is. But this is... I have never seen anything like this before. And for six or seven weeks, it's just... You know. This is the future of our planet, people. If we don't learn... <laughs> to manage our natural resources. Drought. Wildfire. Smoke. Death. Destruction. Don't have to worry about nuclear winter. You know, remember all that talk about, oh, if a bomb goes off, all the debris in the atmosphere, well, there won't be any sun, and crops will die, and blah, blah, blah. Farmers here are having their fruit drop early. 
um, there have been a lot of crop losses here in northern Nevada because of this. And again, people are, look, people are driving in the day with their headlights on. That's how awful it is. So, these are my days this summer. I hope yours are a little better. I do apologize for my <clears throat> depressed attitudes. Uh, worse than normal, but I mean, this is what you wake up to every day. And you can't open your windows at night to get cool, fresh air because it's not fresh. Ugh. <laughs>